everyone, and uh, welcome to Facebook. Thank you for joining us on this uh, Friday afternoon in this great city. Uh, we're excited to have uh, all these esteemed guests and all of you in our office. So Facebook's mission is to make the world more open and connected. And our real goal is how we impact people's lives. You know, how we share with each other, how we celebrate our birthdays, how we change the world uh, in which we live. And one of the really things that's most important that people are doing on Facebook now is using Facebook to create jobs, to grow businesses, to make small businesses bigger and create businesses in the first place, and also to find jobs because it's such an important time in the United States economy and the economy for New York as well as every city around the country. We are very focused on job creation ourselves, uh, part of what we do every day. We've had a great presence in New York for a long time. We have this beautiful office where we have 100 employees working across actually the world. We run all of our global marketing solutions teams from here under the leadership of Carolyn Everson, uh, Tom Ericks, and Blake Chanley. We also run our global recruiting for it from here under the leadership of Kirsten Neville Manning. So from our touch points to Madison Avenue around the world, New York has been a really important home for us. And today we have a really uh, big announcement to make, which is that we're expanding our efforts in New York so that we can also do engineering as well. As a tech company, nothing's more important to us than what we build. And Facebook engineers have been part of what we build and put out to the world, obviously from day one. These are our roots, as Mark is an engineer. Facebook engineers built the Facebook platform, and a University of Maryland study independently said that that platform has created about 200,000 jobs already in the United States economy. Uh, Facebook engineers built Facebook pages, and we have 3.2 million small businesses marketing themselves every single month on Facebook to their constituents and their consumers with Facebook pages. And Facebook engineers built our social plugins, including our like button. And as people have used that to share and like and to find their jobs, that forms the basis, this, basis of our partnership with the Department of Labor, where we're working on jobs together. Running an office like this and a company like this doesn't just take the great talent we're so fortunate to have, but it takes partnership with the public sector. And the government leaders we have with us today, Senator Schumer, uh, Mayor Bloomberg, and the others who couldn't be with us, Governor Cuomo, Senator Gillibrand, and Representative Maloney, it is these partnerships that make us able to do the things we need to do together in New York. These are leaders who understand what it means to grow an economy and how to support business in doing this. They understand the importance of great educational institutions, they understand the importance of the right immigration policy, and they understand the importance of pro-growth policies which create business. We are really grateful for their partnership and to have them with us today. And with that, it's my pleasure to introduce our global head of engineering, Mike Schrepfer, who's going to talk about our engineering efforts. Thanks, Cheryl. My name is Mike Schrepfer. I'm the head of engineering for all of Facebook. And a big part of my job is trying to find the smartest, most entrepreneurial engineers all over the world to help us build a product used by 800 million people every month. About 15 months ago, we decided to branch out from our headquarters and build our second major engineering center in Seattle, Washington. Uh, in the last 15 months, we've grown that office quite a bit, and that team has been responsible for rolling out really popular parts of the Facebook site. Things like video calling, a rewrite of the mobile site, and many of the tools we use to build, monitor our data centers as they run, grow, and scale. Based on the success of that, we said, where else can we go in the world to find the smartest, most entrepreneurial engineers in the world, we did a pretty detailed analysis and looked around and decided the best place by a large margin would be New York City. We realized that New York is, has had a long history of technology innovation and is continuing to grow and has a huge momentum towards entrepreneurial engineering and doing deep technology. So we're super thrilled and excited to build our engineering presence here. For us, this isn't a satellite office. This is going to be a core part of our engineering stack that builds key things that we use to roll out features, again, to 800 million people. It's also fantastic that we've been able to get one of our early engineers, Sircon, who you're going to speak to next, uh, 
to run the office here in New York and help us get set up, Sircon has been able to build many of the features you love and use on Facebook, including the news feed, which powers your homepage every day, and most recently, actually out of New York, he was able to build much of the work behind Timeline, our innovative new profile feature coming out uh, in uh, just a little bit. So with that, I just want to say I'm super excited to have uh, Facebook Engineering have a great presence here in New York. We look forward to, to growing a great innovation and technology center. And with that, I'd like to introduce Sircon. All right, Sircon. Thanks, Shrep. Thanks, everyone. Uh, I'm Sircon, as, as Shrep mentioned. I'm the lead engineer for Facebook here in New York. Um, and I've always been an East Coaster. In fact, I grew up a couple stops north of Grand Central on the Metro North Line in Connecticut. Uh, I went to Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh. And after that, I moved here in the city to start a career in finance. And really never thought I would live anywhere else until I met some of these people here at Facebook. <clears throat> uh, I heard their vision for making the world more connected through technology. And moving out to California was really one of the toughest decisions I ever made, but it ended up being the best because working with Shrep and Cheryl and Mark back in Palo Alto, we've actually built some of those things that realize that vision, and we're helping to change the world. Uh, my big project, as Shrep mentioned, has always been Newsfeed. Uh, it's a product that helps people keep up with the people they're closest with every day uh, easily and effectively on the internet. And it's one of the core pieces of Facebook and something that hundreds of millions of people use every day. Uh, I led that team through a bunch of changes, through years of constant evolution to the way people use Facebook and connect on the internet. And last summer, I started spending more of my time back here in New York. Around the same time, we took the lessons in our experience building newsfeed and began working on the newest version of our profile. Uh, we called it Timeline because it helps you go back in time. And it helps you pick the important events that shaped your life. Timeline will help 800 million people pick the photos, the friends, and the events that really tell the story of who they are. And I think it's one of the most viscerally awesome experiences people can have online right now. I'm tremendously proud of what our engineering team has built. Just being here this past year, I've seen this city's tech community grow tremendously. The Big Apple is a world-class place for building new technology. And I've seen ideas and innovation thrive with the support and the services this city has to offer. People often ask me what I love about living in New York. And they also ask me what I like about working, working to build Facebook. Both of these questions are usually pretty hard for me to answer, and I think for a similar reason. Both New York and Facebook share this kind of energy that's really hard to describe. And both make you feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. So today, I couldn't be more excited to be here announcing that we'll be bringing Facebook engineering to New York City, a city with some of the most brilliant and talented people in the world. And I can't wait to pair that energy with the mission and drive of Facebook. Thanks, Shrep. Cheryl? So no one sits at the intersection of business, technology, and government more than the mayor of this great city, Mayor Mike Bloomberg. He has been a leader in all of those sectors, and I think someone all of us really look up to and admire. Uh, both Mark and I are really grateful for all the time the mayor has spent with us over the years helping us think through issues of culture and organization. Um, it's been absolutely invaluable as we've, we've begun the process of building Facebook along with all the other great people at Facebook. The mayor has also um, made an investment in women. He's come out to Silicon Valley and spoken with the, leaders of, the women leaders in Silicon Valley, something I was personally really grateful for. Uh, mayor Bloomberg has long recognized the importance of technology in fueling economic growth and his track record in New York speaks for itself. Over the last five years, technical jobs and high-tech jobs in this city are up 30%. Really impressive and something we are excited to be part of. So we want to thank you, Mayor Bloomberg, for all you've done to help us already open our office and expand our efforts in New York and for being with us here today. Cheryl, thank you. Um, a new engineering office here. You should know this is uh, Facebook's first outside of the West Coast engineering office. Uh, it will open in early 2012. It is accepting, accepting applications now if any of you need a job. Uh, but as Cheryl said, it's great news for the growing engineering tech sec sector here. Uh, Facebook's, Facebook's uh, decision to come to New York and tap into our tremendous wealth of tech talent 
I think is conclusive proof that we're well on our ways to achieving our goal, and that is to become the world's number one hub for information technology and social media. And I think the evidence really is just overwhelming. Many other West Coast-born companies are finding, as Facebook has, that New York is the place that they have to be. Um, we're also home to an increasing number of homegrown success stories, including uh, Etsy and Hunch and Kickstarter, The Ladders, Foursquare, Guilt Group, uh, TenGen, and Meetup. In fact, last August, Facebook partnered with New York's own Stack Exchange to create a site dedicated to helping Facebook platform developers. Now, over the past five years, high-tech jobs in our city have grown over a third. And with some of the world's top universities bidding to build a new science and tech campus here, uh, one that we expect to spin off hundreds of new companies and create some 22,000 jobs in the years to come, I think our future looks bright. Uh, because we want the next Facebook to start here in New York City. And we're offering underused city land and up to $100 million in infrastructure improvements for a major new applied sciences campus in our city. In fact, the reason that Deputy Mayor for Economic Development Bob Steele and Seth Pinsky, the president of the city's Economic Development Corporation, cannot be with us today is that they are in all-day interviews with some of the applicants for that project. And I said, I'll do the uh, press conference. You do the real work. <laughs> um, we're going to be announcing our selection early in the next year. Uh, so I really do encourage all tech companies to do what Facebook is doing now. Make New York City a hub of your engineering operations. I think you'll find that this is the best place to recruit and to retain the world's top talent. As an entrepreneur, I certainly found that to be true. I've always said that Bloomberg LP would never have been nearly as successful if it was started in any other city. The smartest thing tech and social media companies can do is to move to New York City and get tied into our growing tech community right now. This is the place where you need to be. So don't wait until all your competitors are already here and recruiting the best talent. And on that note, let me introduce the senior center from New York. I don't think he needs a big introduction other than uh, Cheryl. Would you want to introduce him? You want to say nice things about him? I can say nice things about him. I can say nice thing about his kids and his wife. I've never said. You do that. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Mayor Bloomberg, for your remarks and for being here. So we are really honored uh, to have uh, New York Senior Senator uh, Senator Chuck Schumer with us today. Senator Schumer has been a tireless advocate for economic growth and job creation throughout the United States, but also, very importantly, here in New York. He has joined with other New York leaders to work on engineering efforts and an engineering school all across the city. We have had the opportunity to have many conversations with the senator. Mark has a long history with the senator because he went to college with one of the senator's daughters. So they've known each other for a long time. And I've had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with the senator as well. Um, the senator clearly recognizes the role of technology, the role technology plays, and he also is really dedicated to making sure that it's used in a responsible way, responsible for all the people that use it. And that balance and leadership in the U.S. Senate has meant and continues to meant a, mean a great deal to us. Senator Schumer, we are very grateful to you for the ongoing dialogue and friendship and for your being here today. Thank you, Cheryl. It's just so great to be here today. I want to thank you. Cheryl, as you can see, is a dynamic leader uh, in one of our, the most dynamic companies, not just in the U.S. and not just in New York, but in the world. She does an amazing job understanding all the various things you have to understand when you're a leader of this company, from engineering to advertising, from government to PR, but most of all, what people want and need and how to bring it to them. And she's done a great job, and it's very nice to meet uh, Mike Schrepfer, the VP of Engineering, and Sirkin uh, as well. And of course, I want to salute our mayor, who I really admire for his focus on jobs and keeping New York number one, something that's been near and dear uh, to my heart. Now, it's a cliche to say that a company has changed the world in which we live. Go ahead and say it. But in the case of Facebook, <laughs> it's true. In less than a decade, uh, Facebook has made the world a more open and connected place. It's transformed not only the business of social networking, but more fundamentally how we all relate to one another. 
in business, in politics, in our personal lives, and made it better and closer and more open. It's a company that continues to be on the cutting edge of high-tech innovation. So today, with their announcement that they're opening an engineering office in New York, this is a red-letter day for New York, because the mayor and I have, along with so many others, have wanted to see New York grow and evolve to continue to create jobs. And we all know that one of the things that we've always needed to bolster to become the information technology capital of the world is engineering. And the fact that a company like Facebook is locating engineers here says that we have turned the corner. And that is just great news. It is so important because New York's always been great at some of the other skills that are needed in social media, such as, you know, advertising and linking and how to work with one another and communications and media. But now that Facebook is coming here with engineers as well as all the other great people they have, it says a whole lot about us and we're so proud of today's announcement. So thank you very much, Cheryl. New York's pleased to call Facebook a friend and welcomes the decision <laughs> to expand by hiring engineers who will ke keep our city uh, fueling innovation in the greatest city in the world. And there's so much to like about Facebook's decision. Get, that was a joke. <laughs> so much to like, you know, yeah, get, 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 get. <laughs> <laughs> Subtlety is not my middle name. Um, there's so much to like about Facebook's decision to grow in New York, and most importantly is the fact that as the largest city in America, New York can offer up the greatest and most diverse talent pool in the country to the most successful social media company in the world. And that's been our secret since the days of Peter Stuyvesant. People of great talent want to come here. As I went through the offices there, I asked where people came from. A minority, a small minority are from New York. They're from all over the country and all over the globe. But they wanted to be here, be in New York. And that's what brings the Facebooks of the world here, the human talent, which above all has been the secret to our success and continues to be the secret uh, of our success. If you look at neighborhood after neighborhood, when I ride my bicycle through Park Slope in Brooklyn, I see license plates. I like to count them. A minority of the license plates on the streets are New York license plates because people are coming from all over and moving. And it's an amazing thing. And um, that's what's so great about us. And it's also young people. Mayor Bloomberg and I actually met one employee here who was over 40. It made us feel very good. I won't tell. Um, <laughs> And uh, attracting young people, again, is the key to our success. So Facebook stands as a preeminent example of the sort of firm that are not just shaping the economy today, but remaking the economy, giving us faith that America is going to stay number one and New York is going to be number one and stay number one. They're revolutionizing the way we do business, and we in New York are adapting to it. We already are well on our way, as I said, to accomplishing the goal. While the first phase of high-tech development was hardware, software is the second phase. And software plays to New York's strengths, creative fields, advertising, marketing, media design, fashion, law, finance. So we're a natural center, and now we've become the second largest recipient after California, after San Francisco, of high-tech venture capital in the country. We've surpassed Boston, which is an amazing thing. And by some measures, where, where in the New York area, we have more high-tech workers than any other region in the country, about 300,000 men and women, more than Silicon Valley in Boston, but we have to do more. And today's announcement shows that we're succeeding, particularly in the field of engineering, which is so important to us. And I want to salute the mayor. It was absolutely a brilliant idea to create the engineering school, and I hope it'll be schools. I've been urging him to do two. Yeah. Uh, and um, it's going to just complete the picture for New York to become the high-tech capital of America and the world. So this is a transformative event. I'm happy to be part of it. 
I'm so proud of Cheryl and Facebook and what they've done for the world, for America, and now for New York. And it's on to even bigger and better things. Thank you. And I won't tell anybody what to tell you. Don't tell anyone. So thank you, uh, Senator Schumer. I want to acknowledge uh, three other important friends, four other, one of whom is with us today. Ken Adams, New York's Economic Development Commissioner, thank you for your friendship and partnership and for all the work we have done and will done together. And please uh, extend our thanks to the governor for all of his support in, in making all of this happen. And then two friends who weren't able to be with us today on such short notice, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and our representative, Carolyn Maloney, both tireless supporters of jobs, of immigration reform. A lot has happened in the House just this week under Representative Maloney's leadership, and both of whom really understand what pro-growth, pro-job policies are. So now for the best part, I want to thank the Facebook team, everyone who's in New York already who's here with us today, everyone, all of you out there who are going to apply and join us. We have a new page, not surprisingly, FBNYC, the Facebook page for New York and one for New York Engineering. Come on board. Uh, let us know if you'd like to join us. And thank you to all of you uh, for your hard work getting us to this point. We are glad to uh, take your questions. <laughs>